Benny Casino is not a huge attraction. It's the sun, it's the sea, you know, and, you've, and it's a festival. People generally they come into Barcelona, stay for the weekend, then head on to Benny Casino. So they're here in this area probably for more, almost two weeks. It's a really lovely vibe. I think the sunshine makes such a difference and everyone just wants to get on, make friends, have fun. Uh, I've never been before, but I'm, I'm kind of, I hear amazing things. A lot of my mates are here. It's a very British festival, isn't it? Every British person is sunburned, including myself. I think my shoulders, you can probably cook an egg on them right now. Part of the fun, isn't it? It's really cool. Many people, um, really good atmosphere here, and we really, really like it. Day is predominantly occupied by uh, sleep in the sun, which has a uh, few, few slight detrimental effects on the old uh, shoulders, but we got that covered up today, so that's okay. You have to make sure you buy a lilo and little things like that so you're ready and prepared to sleep on the floor, but you just basically throw yourself in it. Go camping, meet loads of people, go to the beach, go to the market, go to all the restaurants, and yeah, just go stumble upon bands you've never seen before. It just throw yourself into the deep end. I came here when I left school as a punter, I was 18, and um, it was just probably the most intense festival I've ever been to. Sort of a combination of a beach holiday and a music festival, it was just sort of perfect really. And then last year was one of the best shows of the summer for us, one of the best crowds. Everybody comments on the sound, I mean sound is very important, they come to see the, the act. And when the sound is really good, the sound there from Noel Gallagher last night was just amazing. Bands like Maccabees, uh, Bombay Bicycle Club, you know, we have the courage to put them on that big stage. And that will take them to, uh, to another level. I think more promoters need to be brave and put them up as headliners. I saw the whole set, for example, and I saw the whole set for Chase and Status. I, I saw part of Bob Dylan. Uh, you know, he was great. I, I was really, really chuffed by the amount of young people who adored Bob Dylan, and I've never heard a crowd Ch chant his name before. We've all lost our voices, which probably shows yeah. that how good a time we've had. Just go crazy. <laughs> we've been here since Monday and literally it's just been non-stop. We're actually ruined now and it's only yeah. Saturday. <laughs> it's surprising how much stamina you can get. It really is. You, you'll find yourself at 8 o'clock in the morning still drinking and thinking, why am I still drinking? But you're just having so much fun, it's impossible not to. Yeah, this year was really special. I think there was a really good crowd of people here. The huge friendliness with the Spanish. You know, they're, they're very tolerant. Uh, People. No. We've been to like UK festivals and everyone's just so much more friendly here. Yeah. Like yeah. it's a much nicer atmosphere. The weather's great, the people are great, and the music's great. Couldn't ask for any more. It's easy for me. I mean, I, I, I just think there isn't, there shouldn't be boundaries in music. It should be just, uh, you know, really good music. Next year, 2013, Benicassim, Rich is there. I will definitely be back here next year and every year for as long as it's socially acceptable. <laughs>